Hey everyone, Dezori here uh, with another video for Albion Online. This time uh, I'm going to be showing you the All Hollow event dungeons that were just released for the end of October. Uh, these are the dungeons that drop both the Jack a Donkey skin and the Horse Macabre skin. Uh, they seem pretty rare as far as I'm concerned. I've run, I think, about 25 of them so far, but I've come up with a pretty good like route and technique to get them done in an extremely short time. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into it. All right, so basically you can find these dungeons anywhere um, from T4 to T8. Uh, now I've done a couple, well, I've done I think about 12 to 15 of the T5 version and about seven or eight of the T8 version. And the T8 version, I, the, the loot's literally an atrocity. I've never seen worse loot in almost any dungeon. I was getting uh, an average about 20K, 20,000 silver from the T8 dungeons. So I don't know if they're worth it. I don't know if there's a better chance of the skin drop. I'm guessing that's a big no. So um, we're go I'm going to be running T5s here. I'm probably going to be doing this on stream as well tonight. Uh, we're going to be running speed runs of the All Hallows event dungeons. By the way, guys, I do stream on Twitch almost every night, late night NA times. Um, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash Nazori. Oh, we got a dungeon right here. All right. So this one is the, the solo version of the dungeon. Uh, the group dungeon is, is like a circle. It's pretty much looks the same. It's got a pumpkin and stuff, but it's a circular entrance, kind of like the blue portals. And you see the blue portals for the group dungeons. Um, let's go ahead and get a timer. I'll, I'm sure there'll be a timer somewhere in the video there. So let's just get moving. Start. Okay. Now we're starting because I didn't have a timer ready. <sighs> all right. So let's go. We're going to be, oh, all right. We done messed up. We done messed up. Okay. Round two. Here we go. All right, putting the putting the timer on. Also, probably need this. Okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, reset round three. Here we go. All right, let's go. Should probably focus while I'm doing this so I don't mess up. Um. So what I'm doing here is is mostly just cooldowns since the T4 and the T5 versions of these dungeons are pretty easy. Uh, I'm using a really high cooldown build we actually did not eat our food we need to eat our food there we go um i'm using abalone and beef stew so we regen in between fights and we have a little bit of extra damage um the boots are for cooldown the chest is for cooldown and basically just to be able to repeat my mobility on the axe which is helpful you know i should probably just show you guys the build <laughs> um by the way uh to get to the end <clears throat> as fast as possible you're gonna hug the right wall essentially so the moment you enter the dungeon Put your shoulder to the left or, you know, shoulder to the right wall. Hug that wall. Um, as long as you're hugging that wall, you will get to, it should be the fastest way to get to Bob at the end. Um, and I, I don't know if, if there's any sort of extra luck from clearing the rest of the dungeon. I did some exploring on, the, the place is huge. I've done some exploring around the dungeon and basically the, um, there were some side bosses but I didn't see any point to really doing them. Uh, I don't know if it increases our luck at the end. I doubt it. Um, honestly, I don't think SBI even changed the loot table between T4 and T8, as far as I can tell. So I don't think they'll have any intricate uh, systems here. Just a hunch. We can run by these. Um, and we want to run by this pack up here. Don't bother clearing them. This one we do have to clear. Uh, how are we doing so far? Three minutes, 37 seconds. And remember, if you're not sure which way to go, um, well, actually, we can't hug the wall. We can't hug the wall. Damn, that wouldn't work here. I don't know how to represent the shape that we, we take to get here, honestly. All right, this room's a little tricky as well if you're in high tier. Uh, absolutely obnoxious. Two, two hook mobs, and they just keep pulling you across the room over and over. Uh, there is a pack down low. If you don't, if you don't actually aggro them, just don't bother with them. Also, keep in mind if you're running this set that I'm running, when you have your royal jacket and your assassin shoes on, um, if you have them both on, you can hit your Q repeatedly, and it's very satisfying. It just kind of is completely spammable. This room is also very tricky. You can't just run into the center. These skeletons here hit way harder than you would think. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you clear these top guys. I usually do it right from over the wall here. Um, and watch your health because these things will creep up on you. 
honestly, I see no faster way to clear this room. I usually clear these top ones and then I try and plow in. See how it goes. Please don't go down. Um, and I just, when I'm scooting around the room, I try and focus on these big packs of skeletons because they're the ones doing the damage. And then if I'm, if I'm low, I, I back out. So, like, pretty much if you, if you wind up staying in the room, you'll just keep aggroing them as you go. So it's almost necessary to reset up like maybe once or twice for this room. What are we at? Six minutes, 20 seconds. Now, I don't know what the drop chance is on the Jack of Donkey or the Horse Macabre, but I'm assuming since the loot table looks like trash for T8, that the best strategy is going to be running T4s. This is a T5. I'm guessing just repeatedly racing through T4s or just going to the T5 Black Zone. Maybe the loot bonus affects it. Uh, there's, no real, there's no real data on it, right? So hard to really judge. Um, six minutes, 53 seconds. Ooh, purple chest. All right. Uh, so this Bob. Bob likes to make us dance. As soon as he hits that 80% mark, he's going to make us dance. Here it comes. There it is. So we dance for a minute. <clears throat> Poison him. Spin. You see what I was talking about with the uh, spinning over and over here? We're just spamming our Q. Okay, we got him dead. Seven minutes, 38 seconds. The loot is... Actually, that's way better than the T8 loot that I was getting earlier. SPI, what's going on there? Uh, but that's that's about it for the run. But you guys, uh, that's about it. The final chest there is where you get the... Uh, one of the skins, supposedly. Haven't seen it yet. Also, you guys can catch me on... Uh, catch me out. Catch me outside. How about that? But guys, that about wraps it up. Uh... We'll be doing this live on Twitch tonight. If you'd like to join us, we're at twitch.tv slash Nazori. We are live streaming almost every night. Hopefully we get one of these skins on stream. That would be fantastic. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you guys have a great day.